This is Eugene Penrich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire 1 722 netbook computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire 1 722. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove the battery and disconnect all power to make it safe to work on. And the way we do that is we flip the laptop over, and there's one lever that you slide over here, slide outward, and the battery slides out like so. Once the battery is removed, we can work on the laptop safely. So, in order to get to the screen, uh, to the screen assembly, we have to remove the screen bezel, and that's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws at the bottom that are hidden behind some plastic covers. So before we start doing that, I'm going to show you the tools we're going to use today. We have some electronics screwdrivers. So the most important one is the PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is for the size. We'll use this most of the time. We also have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. We may or may not use this one. And we have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to get at screws that are at an angle. So we probably won't use this screwdriver. In addition, we have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck, and an X-Acto knife to remove plastic screw covers or lift up adhesive tape. So let's get started. We're going to remove the plastic screwdriver screw covers first, and we use our X-Acto knife to do that. Okay, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. This time it just popped out. So what I like to do is put it right beside the screw opening, so I can find it later. And the same thing with this one. These kind of like to pop out, so I want to keep an eye on these. So put it there. Once we remove the screw covers, we can remove the two screws at the bottom. So we use our PH1 screwdriver to do this. One and two, and for each step, for each set of screws, I like to start a separate pile of screws and keep them in order in which you remove them. This way you can keep track of which screws go where. Okay, now that you remove the screws, we remove the screen bezel. It snaps off, and the way we remove the screen bezel is put the put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen size, screen side, and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and pull it out towards you gently and lift it up and it starts to come out. So we go oh, we go all the way around and any places that you're stuck, skip those for now and come back to those later. So keep going around and go to the bottom. So, so this one's a little bit tougher. So we come back to the top and usually get stuck at the corners and pull, which what I did is I pulled out towards me and up and that got this corner loosened. And now we have one corner loosened, it's easier to get the other corner. And once we have the top loosened, it's easier to loosen the bottom. So we just keep going around, like so. And don't be afraid of those loud sounds. Nothing's breaking. It's just the bezel snapping off. Okay. Once the bezel comes off, we put it to the side, and we look at the screen assembly. This type of screen is known as a slim screen. It's thinner than the standard screens. And also, it has mounting screws on top and bottom, bottom for the mount with the mounting tabs for the screen. So we remove these two screws at the top and these two screws at the bottom, and the screen should come out. Okay, let's start with the screws at the top. When you do this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit, so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. One and two. 
Okay, on the bottom, there's two sets of screws right next to each other. You don't want to remove the outer screws. Let's get a close-up. You don't want to remove this screw. You want to remove this screw. And same down here. You don't want to remove this screw. You want to remove this one. Okay, so let's keep going. Remove one. And once again, we have a separate pile for these for this set of screws and two now that the screws are out we gently start tilting the screen forward and make sure it's not getting stuck on anything okay we keep going forward and it looks like there's some adhesive tape that's keeping us from going forward further so we'll use our exacto knife to lower it Okay, and I think we have enough access. So in order to remove this screen from the assembly, we need to remove this connector down here. And this connector is behind some adhesive tape. So we use our X-Acto knife to lift up the adhesive tape, being very careful not to damage the connector. Keep lifting it up like so, and then once you lift up the adhesive tape, you can slide the connector out. But before we do that, it, there's the excess is not quite good, so it looks like there's a magnet or a connector that has some adhesive on the back. And once we remove the adhesive, we kind of use our screwdriver to pack pry this little black, tiny little black box from back of the screen assembly, and now we have a lot better access to the connector. So once we do that, I, you grab the back of the connector with both of your fingers, with your fingertips, and gently pull it out, and we see that there's some adhesive at the front of the screen right here. So we use our exacto knife to lift up this adhesive or in this case I just cut it so we once we cut it we can pull the there's one more we can pull the connector cable away okay and finally there's another adhesive so they like to use a lot of adhesive tape for the screen. Okay, when you connect it, you don't have to worry about all this adhesive as much. Just do the best you can. It really doesn't affect the function of the laptop. Okay, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it because it's a little bit more difficult than usual to disconnect it. So we take the screen in one hand, take the connector in one hand, holding with your fingertips like so, and kind of just push it in like so and let's get a close-up of the connection again when you push it in you should feel two clicks so listen here for two or feel for two clicks you should not hear them just feel them okay and this is a good focus right here pause the video right here and this is what your connection should look like there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection this is a good connection Okay, so this is a very important part, connecting it properly, or else your screen won't work again. Okay, so we pull the connector out again, and we take a look at this screen. Okay, this screen, it's an 11.6 inch LED slim screen. Now, this screen is a little bit unusual, and the way it is unusual is that the mounting tabs are on the top or on the bottom right here. If you just order a standard screen of this size, a 1.6 inch LED slim, you can see that the mounting tabs are on the sides and we need a good focus. There we go. You can see that the mounting tabs are on the sides on the right hand side and on the left hand side. So this, the standard screen, 11.6 inch LED screen will not work on this laptop model. 
when you order the screen, you got to make sure that the mounting tabs are on the top on the bottom. So this screen is specific to this laptop model. So other laptop models that use this type of screen. So be very careful when ordering it. Okay, let's get a part number for this one. The part number is N116BGE-L41. Uh, normally, I would just tell you just to look up this part number and order it, but in this case, make sure you have a photo of the screen and make sure the mounting tabs on the top or on the bottom. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available, and you can order it from us, and you can make sure, we'll make sure to get the right screen to you. So what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. We ship you the right screen, and if we make a mistake, we'll replace it, no extra charge. We have free email technical support when you do the installation, a two-year warranty on our screens, and also we ship all over the world. So if you're not in the United States, we can most likely ship it to your country. To buy this screen from us, please go to screensurgeons.com, click buy a screen, then there will be a short form for you to fill out, just your email address and the laptop model, and then once we receive that, we'll send you back an email with the link to buy the right screen online. Okay. And also, if you do not have the right tools available to do this yourself, we also sell this toolkit. It's available online when you buy the screen, and you should not have any trouble finding this toolkit. All right. So once you get your new screen in, connect it as I showed you, and then put the video cable back in, put the screen back in, put the two screws on top, two screws on the bottom, snap the screen bezel on, put the two screws in on the bottom and the screw covers, and you should be done. And that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrichwich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.